one. Good morning. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and remember to thank God for all the things that you have and the things you might have received. Sometimes we forget to thank God, but he never forgets us. Maybe some of you can call and leave me a message letting me know what you're doing and how things are. If you remember last Sunday, I talked about the 12 days of Christmas and what some, some people thought it meant. Well, I brought my paper with me today, so I'm not gonna read all the things that a different meant, but I'll give you the general idea. Of course, the partridge in a pear tree represented Jesus Christ. The two turtle doves are the Old and New Testament. The three French, French hens are the Trinity, God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, or Spirit. The four colibers are the four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Five gold rings are the five books of the Torah, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. The six geese laying are the six days of creation. Remember, God created everything in six days and he rested on the seventh. The seven swans of swimming are the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. The eight maids of milking are the eight beatitudes. Some people think it's the people that were saved on Noah's Ark. No, his wife, his three sons, and their wives. So that makes eight. The nine ladies dancing are the nine fruits of the Spirit. The ten lords of leaping are the Ten Commandments. The eleven pipers piping are the faithful disciples. We know there were twelve, but there were eleven that were faithful. And the twelfth, of course, is twelve drummers drumming. And that has to do with the Apostles' Creed. Now, I mean, some of you are probably looking at me and say, I don't know what you mean by the Apostles' Creed, but we used to say that all the time. I believe in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Remember that? Some of you should. It's, it'd be nice for you to look it up and, and really start to think about that stuff. So that had to do with the 12 days of Christmas that I talked to you about. And, of course, we have two more days because it's the 10th day. Now, if you had been here in class, we would have had a picture week that we could have painted and it would be in this, and perhaps when you were finished with it, it could have looked something like this. These are the wise men traveling at night. And now I've lost my place. <laughs> so now if you can just bear with me, I will go back and I will pick it up. Here we go. Our lesson today has to do with the wise men. I want to talk about them because everybody thinks that the three wise men were there at Jesus' birth with the gifts, and that's not correct. They were not there that day. Remember, they came looking for him. They followed the star in the east, and they came, and they, Herod got involved, and he wanted to know why they were there, and they told him that they were looking for the the person who was born to be king of the Jews. And of course, Herod said, well, you know, once you find them, you let me know where it is because I want to go and I want to bring gifts and I want to pay my respects. But we all know Herod was a little kinky and he that really wasn't his thoughts because he thought king, that would be taking over him. And he, he just did not want that to happen. But I think that Jesus could have been a toddler. And my reason for this is because in Matthew 2, verse 11, it says that when they came to the house, and remember, Jesus was in the manger. And they said that they found the young child, Jesus, with his mother Mary. And that makes me think he could have been a toddler. Their other item is that they don't say manger, but house. The other item in the Bible doesn't specify three wise men. We all think it was three wise men. And I think the Western part of the world thought that way because there were three gifts. So they thought three wise men, three gifts. But the Eastern part of the world, or society, thought that there were 12, which represented the 12 disciples. However, I feel that there were more than three. But that's only my belief. You have to make your own decisions and your parents can help you with that decision. Remember I told you about King Herod, how he wanted them to come back, and, and an angel came to the wise men and said, don't go back, go a different way. And of course, when Herod found out 
that they had went back and they didn't come and tell him. That made him even more upset. It was like they were disrespecting him. So he said he was going to make a proclamation, which he did, and he went every child two years and under to be murdered. Now, that sounds a little drastic, but that's the way they were back then. I am so glad we don't live in those times. But what is important for you to remember is that Jesus came for all people. Remember he was born in a manger? And that could be for the people that did not have money and were poor. And then he had the three wise men. And that could be showing us that they were for the rich also. Jesus was for all people. Before I say a prayer, I want to make some corrections to, to last week. I said to you, the angel said, come and check this out. And it was not the angels. It was the angels telling the shepherds. And the shepherds said they were to go and check it out. And then I made another mistake. My bad. I said that Christmas ends January 8th, and actually it's the 5th because it's the 12 days of Christmas. So let us pray. We come to you, God, with thanks for Jesus as a child. We also give thanks for those who came to honor him. Help us to honor Jesus by growing closer to you and living as you would have us to live. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now remember, stay healthy, and remember, Jesus loves you, and I do too.